how to use E-Rank for Etsy in 2021. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you about E-Rank and how you can use it for Etsy and grow your online store in just a few steps. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to erank.com. And once you're over here, all you simply have to do is just simply sign up and you can sign up by clicking on the register button over here in the middle or over here at the top. Simply click on the register button. And once you do that, the web page will look something like this. And all you have to do is enter in your name, your email address, confirm your email address, enter in your password then check the box of I'm not a robot. Check this box right here. You can leave this bottom one. Basically, if you check this box, you accept the terms of services. And if you check this box, you get newsletters and stuff like that. If you want to receive receive emails from E-Rank about newsletters and some other things, then you can check it. If you're not, you can leave it unchecked. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and I will catch you guys in a little bit. So as you can see, I have signed up and it's telling me to go verify my email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and I will catch you guys in the next step of this video. Oh, and also uh, this site takes at least five minutes for the email to arrive. So you have to wait at least five minutes for the email to arrive and you can continue it so until that happens i'm gonna go back to e-rank and let's see if we can uh, find something as well so if i come over here while that happens uh, let me just go over here uh, in the features section and see some of the features that they have so over here as you can see we have keyword explorer we have keyword tools we have settings we have listing categories bulk ranker missing images listing changing sales map trend buzz monitor active listing competitive tags and many many more like these are all the things that are necessary for us to you know grow our business online grow our etsy store so i'm gonna go ahead and check out the keyword explorer if they will allow us to before signing up um and it seems like it doesn't you know allow us to check it out until we sign up so uh if we can like you know read it a little bit so over here okay so we can read some of it so over here hey, we can see that how to use so basically all we have to do is select the main menu under tools we have to find the keyword explorer then we all we have to do is enter in a keyword and click the search button and then we e rank will show us the related words and statistics for etsy so over here as you can see etsy summary so if you search for it you will get the average searches you will get the competition average clicks and ctr so what is ctr ctr is click through rate so it's over here as you can see click through rate this is a percentage of searches that resulted in a person's clicking on one or more listing if the ctr is over 100 that means that on an average every searcher is clicking on more than one listing each time they search for that keyword which we need to keep an eye out for it and we need to keep an eye out for the competition the number of listings that we found on etsy and we need to also have a keep an eye on the average clicks this estimated the number of listings that were clicked on after a person searched for the keyword so we have to keep an eye on all three of them all three of them have to be high except for competitions competition should be as low as possible and the rest of the things should be high and when that happens that means that we have finally found our perfect word and then down below we have search trends as well it basically shows a graph of how the search trends are happening and then we have market share and then we have market trends and stuff like that all the things that i will be showing you if uh, i get the confirmation email i think it should be coming here any moment now okay so i couldn't find the email for some reason i tried it again uh it didn't work so i have to like wait a couple of minutes um i think i'm gonna go ahead and sign up with a different email so i maybe that will work so let me just sign up with a different email guys okay so as you can see i have uh, signed up everything is working now but to actually you know get all the features okay so as you can see i have signed up and it's all well and done but to actually you know get all the features and start working you have to connect your etsy shop now to do that just simply create an etsy shop and then get it live uh, meaning publish it set it live and then connect your store and it should be done so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i will catch you guys in the next step okay so unfortunately i couldn't connect it because etsy is not available in my country and it requires banks that are you know trusted with etsy so it's a problem for me so i can't really like connect my account with it but i can still show you how you can basically do it right so over here as you can see i've already shown you about about the Etsy summary and how you can you know what things you should be looking out for so the main things that you should be looking out for are average searches our competition is higher searches 
low competition, uh, higher clicks, and higher CTR, right? Percentage. These are the four things that you have to look out for. And then down below, as you can see, market share, all paying members. So you also have to look out the market share as well. So over here, as you can see, if you search for a product, you have to make sure that which store has the higher share of that product. So in this one, I don't know what product they're selling, but clearly Amazon is the one with the highest ones and it sees the second one. So you have to keep an eye on that and you have to make your products, you know, trend on both it. I recommend like selling your products on all these stores, uh, at least all three of these, eBay, Etsy, and Amazon. Uh, Pinterest and Google Shopping doesn't really matter. They aren't that big. So you no, know, you'd be just wasting your time over there. So Amazon, Etsy, and eBay for now. And then if you feel like it, you can go, you know, uh, sell your products on Google Shopping and Pinterest. And then we have market trends. So the popularity of the keywords can vary remarkably on each marketplace. The market trend graph shows the past 15 months of data to help you anticipate when keywords are most popular across each of the marketplace e-rank tracks. Note here too, in this case, where there is not enough data to meet the minimum threshold to provide an accurate estimate, E-Rank will be unable to provide you with such volumes unestimated again. This is common for niches, niche product as long tail keywords. So as you can see over here, there weren't not a lot of data, so they couldn't like predict for Etsy over here. Like as you can see for Amazon, Amazon is a pretty big market. So the black bar is always is up. So Etsy is the orange bar. And as you can see, it's flattened right there. So you have to make sure that the keywords have more data in them as well. And then you have related searches. Basically, this will help you to uh, find better trending keywords, synonyms, and related long tail keywords for your product titles, tags, description. The word ideas you get from this section are all based on what real buyers have been searching for and for on Etsy, both recently and over the past years. So you have to be sure to keep an eye on this one as well. Related searches can help you like understand which keyword is most suitable for your needs and you can go ahead and do that. And then down below you have related search columns heading. So you have keyword, you have uh, search trends, character count, average searches, average clicks, average clicks, average CTR competition, Google shopping searches, and many, many more. So basically you get all the bells and whistles for Etsy and other stores in the E-Rank as well. In E-Rank, so you don't have to worry about anything. Like I said, I would have shown you guys how you can basically do that. But unfortunately, uh, I couldn't connect my store with E-Rank. I don't know why they do that. I mean, they should at least tell you, I mean, they should at least let you, you know, explore a little bit. So before, you know, you connect your store, but I guess it's their choice. I guess that's how they made it. But like I said, it's still a pretty good website. It gives you all the necessary tools for you to search. I don't understand why it doesn't let me connect to my Etsy account because it looks something like this, like over here, like if I go over to E-Rank, uh, if I log in over here again, it just shows me this homepage. Like I have to connect my Etsy shop to this account. But if I click on connect Etsy shop, uh, and I click on allow access it, it just doesn't work like it says my shop is down well that is because I can't connect my shop at this time because my shop isn't open yet it, it doesn't make any sense unfortunately I can't connect my Etsy shop but you get the general idea right all you have to do is keep an eye out for these four things and you'll be good to go so having said that I guess this is the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification guys and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that I will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care goodbye